The difference between Dewey Realize how important it was for those guys to work on their bodies. Because he's not full, Japanese, this and that, even just the word half, to me it's like, no, he's half what? Watts into a camp, this and that. And Dominique Wilkins, who I'm a... I had an opportunity to go coach in Washington. I thought um, they called me and one of the things I would have an opportunity to coach Louis. Oh, who did he? Um, last year. Yeah. But it ended up working out to where, I mean, Cleveland didn't let me go and uh -huh. um, this and that. But and, and it's interesting. I don't know if it's the right place to say it, but Rui Hachimura mm -hmm. has a totally different upbringing. It's hard for him, I believe. I do mean. Because he's not full, Japanese, this uh, and that. So, so he's dealing with stuff. I don't so, know so, what so. happened. He's dealing with these type of things. Right? You see what I'm saying? So, he, I don't know if he knows it, but he's an inspiration to me. Hey, yeah. I know what he experienced being different. And there's nothing wrong with it. Everyone experiences that type of stuff. And for him to represent this country the way he represents this country, lets every kid that's playing basketball that may not be, he's accepted as Japanese, mm. even though his color may be mine, he is Japanese, this and that. And so all those other kids that are in the same situation now, they're motivated by seeing him. How is that motivated to you? Well, because they realize that, hey, I mean, I have a chance because that guy looks like me. I have an opportunity to go play there. Right, right. You know, I don't know what they go through, you know, being, it said, well, I don't know, even just the word half, mm. to me, it's like, no, he's half what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So it's the half good or the half bad. Mm -hmm. So I think he's influenced a different group of Japanese players mm. because now they can believe just like Utah Watanabe has influenced right, right, a different right. group. Now you get both of them together, you're going to be pretty doggone good. How does that motivate you though? Like you said, Louis well, Hachimura. He motivates me because I understand how hard it is um, coming up um, when, you know, America's had history of you know, it being a little bit harder for minorities to get mm -hmm. to certain spots, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and you got to walk, walk through it. And the thing that you, when you see someone else mm -hmm. rise above that, mm -hmm. you get a good feeling. I don't, I don't care where they are. Anyone that rises above a situation, if it's mm -hmm. poverty, if it's, you know, coming from a small town, you know, coming from Toyama, how many good basketball players came from Toyama? Mm -hmm. Not too many. For him to look the way he looked and to represent this country the way he represented, he's continued to represent this and that. I have a lot of respect for that man. だから今たくさん、えっと、仙台大名声高校にたくさん来てるんだけど、でもその子たちは、うんと、集められてるんじゃなくて自分で行くんだって。なぜなら、いじめられるんだって。なんか、あの、黒人とプレイしたくないとか
you know, how this world can sometimes, and America is really bad with it. Um, but it doesn't matter where you're from. Basketball has its own language. When you get out there together, it makes good music if it's played the right way. I've had, I see him, I go to the games. I think he know who I am. I know who he is. I mean, definitely. And I don't have a lot of conversations with him. But I don't know if he's going to see this. But I want him to know that he's special, man. And you motivate people that you don't even know you motivate. So keep, keep fighting. Keep fighting the fight. Don't you let someone tell you you can't do it because you've already done it. You're the first guy to get drafted in the first round ever in Japan. Did you think when you were a kid that you would do that? You have so much more to give. だから八村選手もしこれが届くことがあったら NBA のコーチのモチベーションになってるそうなので伝わると嬉しいです NBA に行く日本人についてちょっと話を聞きたい、うん、日本人って NBA で通用しますか Yeah,、uh, I think that the NBA has always been looking for talent in Japan Always なぜ Well, because first of all, they're, they're thinking of, like, you remember how Ichiro had it in Seattle、mm -hmm. when Japanese would go over, hi, hi, watch hi, games, hi, packages, hi, this hi, and that.、Hi. Nintendo was there hi, and it just、hi. blew up.、Hi. And from that, from, you know, the first guy that went there from Irabu、mm -hmm. to Nomo、mm -hmm. to all that, and they built up from that. Tabuse started that with these guys. That's true. That's true. All right? You thought Tabuse was Sugoi. Well, Kai, Momo Toki. America mean that,、right. basketball. It's good. It's not a good thing. It's a good thing that Japanese players are people quiet. Right. 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 Um, so it's hard for, I think, players to get out of that and go to the States. When I first got here,、um, now you have players going to the States to play.、Uh, uh, Louis Hachimura, Gonzaga.、Uh, You know, Utah Watanabe,、mm -hmm. in school in, in, in DC.、Mm -hmm. uh, Keisuke. 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 Casey. I call him Casey.、Uh, Casey That's what I call him, Casey.、Uh, okay, 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 okay. Tominaga.、Uh, Casey. Whose father was probably my best friend. Hi, hi, hi. I was here. And I've been knowing Casey ever since he was a. When he could barely hold a basketball out of the h i hi, hi, hi. And he always could shoot the ball. And I tell Tommy all the time that his wife is a whole lot tougher than him, so thank God <laughs> Casey got that. No chance. I like your mother's, the mother's great. Thank God for the mother. Nah, I'm just joking. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what's different about these guys now is that a lot of guys want to go to the States, they want to get better. The difference between Utah. Casey, k a s e and Louis、mm -hmm. is at an early, you, more so, I think, Louis, at a young age, his high school coach, Sato, 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 They help those guys go to the States.、Mm -hmm. And now the Japanese players, because they're eating the right way,、oh, yeah. they're training the right way at a younger age.、Right. I mean, Watanabe and Louis, they are big players.、Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter, American players, they're just big players. So now you have a lot of the players that's getting bigger. I mean, you're talking about load, load and recovery. You're talking about. Like working on their bodies, they're working on individual skills.、Mm -hmm. So I think from here on out, guys are going to get better. I think、um, Watanabe, what he did, winning the championship, going there, and、um, he has a chance, and he's done a good job. I mean, he's playing well. But Louis has a chance, and I think just from here on out, there's going to be another one. Who's the next? Who's、Man. the next?、Man. Who's the next? And what's going to happen, it starts with Tabuse here, then Watanabe, then that. So, They're going to raise the level.、Hi. And now you have basketball without borders here. You have all these things that you have here in Asia. It's just opportunities. And I think just Japan is going to have a presence in the NBA pretty soon, I think. I think within the next five to ten years. So, what do you think about it? What do you think about it? 
First of all, you have to be confident that you belong, first of all. Because oh, basketball, the brand of basketball is really good here. You have to belong. And then you have to be willing to get out of your comfort zone and learn other types of basketball. So, so you have to learn, you know, other systems and learn how to play. Because there's basketball, it's, it's just not one way to play. So, and not saying that that one way to play is wrong. We're not saying it's right. There's other ways you play. And the more ways that you can learn how to play, it's the easier, I think, that you'll be able to go into the NBA. But I think the biggest thing is that they have to, those guys, all three of those guys study basketball. I think whatever you do, you have to be a student of the game. And I think that's really big too. うちらの時代はNBA選手がいなかったから日本人できないって思ってた。でも今の子供たちは渡辺優太がいて、八村塁がいて、八村塁は毎日テレビに出るの。Maybe a minute or two. But still they see that. だすごいと思う。うん、すごい。だからそれを子供たちが見るから、あ、自分だから、まあ、私いける、いける、いける。でもでもわざわざ渡辺と塁日本に that's the next step. When they finish playing, they will be the ambassadors for Japan. Then that's how it starts. That's how it started in Spain with the Gasols. What happened? And, and if look at what happens when the Olympics go to a country, how they get stronger in basketball the next year. The Olympics was in Spain. They got stronger. Olympics Greece, they got stronger. Olympics France, they got stronger. Olympics Australia, they got stronger. All the teams got stronger after the Olympics were there. Olympic in Tokyo. So you have this jump that's coming within the next five or six years. Because these kids are now exposed. When they were in Spain, they saw the dream team for the first time. Gasol was 16 years old. The Gasol brothers. Then they started having these programs where the NBA would stay there, this and that, and it's talent. Man. That's how it works. So those players owe it to their country. And they've done a good job to come back and raise the next generation of players. When I was growing up, I, I went to Birmingham to watch to a camp, this and that, and um, Dominique Wilkins, who I'm a pretty good, one of my, I mean, I consider a friend, we talk. Mm -hmm. And I, I really like Dominique Wilkins, and he was from North Carolina. He came all the way down to UAB. Uh, and I saw him in a camp right after Jordan beat him in a dunk contest. And he went oh, in, hi, hi, hi. he did a windmill and all that type mm -hmm. of stuff. And I was like, man, I got to meet Dominique Wilkins. Yeah. And he came back and the first thing he said is, hey man, I know I'm not from here, this and that. But I know there's talent here, and I think that I have to come back and give to you what someone gave to me. And I was in eighth grade. And I'm like, I want to be like that guy. Igor left, went to college, went to the States, went back to Serbia to coach, went back to Slo Slovenia to coach Luka and, and Dragic. And he gave back what he learned at a year later. Yeah, went to, went to Fenerbahce. But he's taken all his experiences to go back and teach the people that grew up the same way he did. And I think that's special, man. Don't just come back and be like, oh, I play in the league, be like me. Or I coach in the league, be like me, watch me. No, this is how I got there. This is what I had to do, and this is what I needed when I got there. I think that's really important. And the Japanese players will do that. Yeah. So, that's the next step. So. Watanabeyuta,すごいやっぱりそういうことを意識してる気がして。He mm. made me change. He, he changed me. Yeah.高田真希って女子の代表の選手もそうなんだけど。Whatever happens, like any adversities, like they're cheering teammates and try to bring them up. Exactly. Never be no negativity and they're not giving up. I felt like I've given up. 外国行って、ヨーロッパと 
とか行くとさ、うん、コーチのライセンスのレベルも高いし、うんまあ、みんなプロコーチ、うんうん、日本は高校の先生がコーチしてるから、うん、一回かなわないと思った、うん、And that was a wake up call that you know、uh, Yuta Watanabe got mad at the players at the World Cup because they lost like five in a row or something right and we are not even fighting we gave up right so I can accept as a national team player Uh, we shouldn't play with that attitude. And next year, you know,、better. Olympics came, right? It was delayed for、mm. one year. So、mm. it was 2021.、Mm. And everybody was fighting. Here he is, like, he's fighting,、mm. encouraging, and then t r y to lead.、Mm. So he made me think, like, you know, I've given up. No, I can't give up, right?、Exactly. All these. Players, great players like a、uh, women's national team who won the silver medal. Really they, good they are, women's national team. They are brought up by who? Professional coaches? No.、Mm. Japanese high school coaches, junior high coaches.、Mm. Mm. They taught them fundamentals.、Mm. They taught them how to respect, respect the game.、Mm. Uh, they taught them how to、uh, refine their skills. But you know what happened too? WNBA. How many Japanese players, when it started, went to the WNBA? 1997年、萩原美希子がドラフトで WNBA 入り、日本人初の快挙を成し遂げた。二人目が生まれたのは10年後の2007年、大賀優子である。They saw at an earlier time that they had a chance, so it gets stronger. Now, Utah Watanabe told them, now they see. That they have that chance, now it's、so、going to start. That's what makes it start. When you start believing、uh-huh. and you start competing, you can be there. Exactly. If you don't believe and you don't compete, you'll always stay there. <laughs> Japanese players are going to make it to the NBA. They just got to know how to work. So, so, so. There are you know, lazy people there, too. It's everywhere. Coach Igor said that, man, you ought to go back to Japan. 